Hi everyone, my name is Jordan Henry, and I'm a parent in Glendale who is deeply concerned about the content in the Learning for Justice educational framework adopted by Glendale Unified. I'm also deeply concerned about the newsletter recently released by Superintendent Dr. Vivian Exian, which states, Recently, there appears to be a concerted effort by some individuals to frighten members of our Glendale Unified school community by misleading the public about what is being taught in our schools. It is not good citizenship to intentionally spread misinformation about what is being taught in our schools. At recent board meetings and in community publications, people have used inflammatory, provocative, and sometimes shocking examples of content that is nowhere to be found in our schools. This is not acceptable. I would agree that spreading misinformation is not acceptable. Unfortunately, this accusation is simply not true because the offensive and pornographic images our team distributed to the public are all contained in the Learning for Justice resources that are certainly in line with the social justice standards that Glendale Unified has approved. In fact, according to Learning for Justice, those exact pornographic materials are the best practices for teaching about gender identity and supporting the social justice standards. Here is the official training document for the Learning for Justice pilot project for Glendale Unified from January 28th of this year. Here's a list of the teachers who received the training, but I've edited out their names out of respect for their privacy. The publications within Learning for Justice are explicitly endorsed for teachers to use, and they're even called helpful guides. The best practices for serving LGBTQ students is literally two clicks away from this official GUSD training document. And I want to stress that Learning for Justice calls these pornographic and offensive materials best practices. Make no mistake, best practices means this is the best thing that Learning for Justice could possibly recommend on the subject. If Glendale Unified now says that these books are not best practices, then they themselves are actively rejecting learning for justice on its own terms. Is the GUSD board prepared to buck learning for justice so early in the adoption process? I certainly hope so. In the fall of this year, Glendale Unified also adopted new textbooks published by a company called TCI or Teachers Curriculum Institute. What the board is not telling parents is that the TCI textbooks themselves are also linked to Learning for Justice. The TCI website explicitly states that Learning for Justice resources were added to support teachers in discussing topics like gender and sexual identity. By no means am I claiming that teachers are currently using these pornographic and offensive images in the classroom. I have never made that claim, nor would I, because I simply have no evidence of that. But it is clear that Learning for Justice has recommended these materials as best practices, and Glendale Unified failed to vet the content in the social justice standards prior to approving them. I'm convinced, had parents like myself not pointed out the filth that is in Learning for Justice, the district and the board would have continued to endorse these materials without the vetting necessary to call something a best practice. My question to the board now is, what other materials in Learning for Justice will the district soon disapprove of? Perhaps that math education continues to inflict violence on black lives, or that white women's tears represent danger, terror, and death for Black people. Both statements are direct quotes from Learning for Justice, also found through the exact same teacher training document I previously mentioned. Don't take my word for anything. Don't trust me. You need to verify it for yourselves. Don't trust Dr. Exian. Instead, follow the links below in the description of this video to see all the material I'm referencing. Please verify, you can only trust yourselves. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to my comments.